Hi guys, had a comment on one of my very old videos regarding this 40 megahertz transmitter or controller. Nico or Nico. It's one that didn't work for me. And purely by luck, when I was playing around with it, I found out that if I touched the circuit board in a certain place, it started working. And I then found that if I just attached a piece of wire to that particular place, it carried on working without me touching it. So, um, that was fine by me. I'd got a working transmitter. But somebody commented that the wire I'd connected was acting like a antenna. And I can't actually see that myself. Simply because where I'm connecting the bit of wire is nowhere near where the signal comes out. And the signal has to go through the um, radio frequency generator, or whatever you want to call it. The bit that converts the signal to a radio frequency and then from there it gets attached to the or it goes out through the antenna uh, i'll probably put a screen capture from the circuit diagram on or something like that just so we can see what i'm talking about but this is the bit of wire i was talking about it's just an odd bit of wire and yes it does look like it's an antenna but it goes to pin 12 on the controller chip and pin 12 is the internal oscillator which sets the internal clock for the chip. It's nothing to do with the frequency, the 40 megahertz frequency that goes out on the antenna. The, an the feed to the antenna is actually off pin, I can't remember whether it's one or one on the opposite side, it doesn't really matter. But what it does is it comes out of the chip. Are we in focus? Probably not. Down there. Comes out of the chip, then goes through all of this slot to be converted to a signal to go out on the antenna. So coming out on pin 12, which is to do with the oscillator, it won't even have the signal on it. What I did think I could do though, which is something I've been wanting to do for years, is see if we can actually connect an oscilloscope to the pins, the output pins, and see if we can look at the signal. To make this easier to connect my test leads, because I don't have convenient probes, I'm going to solder a little bit of wire onto pin number, let's think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, yeah on either pin seven or eight. One is supposed to be the signal out to the radio gear and the other is the signal out to infrared gear. I don't actually see why there'd be any difference to be honest, but I'll connect the wire to, well I might as well connect the wire to one to each of them so we can try and see if there is any difference. Right, it's probably a little bit late to realize this, but we might have a problem here just trying to demonstrate because the frame rate of the camera is going to get confused with the frame rate of what we're trying to measure. So I don't know if we'll see anything or not. But I am connected to pin uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and pin eight, which I can't remember whether that's the infrared or the radio frequency one. I don't see any specific difference. We'll have a look at both of them. I press forwards. I hope you can see we get a row of little dots. 
and they are looking slightly different depending on whether I'm pushing up or forwards, backwards, left and right. I can't quite figure out which way I want to focus to get the best information. So all I'm saying is at the moment there is a difference. If we swap over to pin 7, we get a slightly different wave pattern. Don't know why, but it's a slightly different wave pattern. And then if we go back to that one again, if I hold that over and then touch that wire that I've got pit connected to pin 12, which is the internal oscillator or clock as I call it, it does change it, which it would do because it's affecting the internal clock, so the speed of the pulses. I hope the camera's seeing that. I will just move the camera so it points a bit closer to that. I'm not getting the detail that I'd like to get. This is a very old oscillator that I was given by a friend. You can probably see it's not in best condition. Right, forwards, backwards. The main difference I can see is the sort of ripple that goes across. I think I need to get in closer and more detail, but that's right, that's left. Just hold it on right for now and then touch that other wire. And you see it sp spreads out, that's the best way to put it. I'll just try playing with a few settings. Going left, right, forwards, backwards, and nothing much is changing. I go to nothing, backwards, forwards, left, right. Really not showing me what I want to see. So I think I'm in. That's not helping. Forwards, backwards, left. Right, I mean, clearly there's a difference, but I can't really figure out how to get in close to be able to see what that difference is. Yeah, I don't think we're seeing what I want to see. So I'm probably just wasting your time making you watch it. I'm going to have to do a bit of thinking about this. So we'll call it a day. Interesting, but ultimately not what I want. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, 
and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.